HTML has a whole bunch of different elements or selectors that you can add styles to like your H1 tag or the paragraph tag or even the body tag and so on. But one of the many cool things with CSS and CSS3 is that you can make up your own selector called an ID or a class selector. This video is on the ID selector and how it's made and used. Now ID selectors are used when there is just a single unique element needing to be styled like say for example nickname or first name or phone number just a few of them that I just made up. Oh and if you didn't notice they will all begin with the hashtag or number sign or octothorpe. Yeah I said octothorpe. That's my word of the day. Basically they're all three the same thing. Here's an example of using an ID selector. Basic HTML5 document and I've got some styling up here in the head section and the content down here and I've got the hashtag nickname I've got the hashtag first name and I've got the hashtag phone number as my ID selectors. And for each of these, I've put a little bit of a style to it. For example, everything down here that I have written as the nickname ID selector will have a blue background. And I did this to demonstrate that you can have the same style for multiple selectors. And you can also have multiple styles for multiple or single selectors. I just put this down here just to keep things simple. So basically, everything with the ID of first name and ID of phone number is going to have a background of a pink color. Let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what it looks like. Let's kind of keep it all right here. And that's it. Now, just to kind of demonstrate further that we can add multiple styles, I'll just go ahead and change the color of these guys here or everything that's associated with first name and phone number to red and save and there we go. Now if you're going to style a particular element several times within a document like say you're going to use nickname to also style your H1 tags and maybe even your body tags then you'll want to use a class selector and not an ID selector. But that's the makings of a different video. So in this video, you learned what an ID selector was, and you learned that Octothorpe is the same thing as a number sign or hashtag. That's going to bring to a close this video on ID selectors in CSS and CSS3. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day.